Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> okay, Vera. Yes. Dream sequence. Dreams. All right. So it was like how many? How many weeks ago was your dream? I think it was about two. Yeah, at least. At well, least when about did, two when weeks. When did we get our hair done? Uh, no, it was the dentist. Yeah, yeah, it was two weeks ago then. Two weeks ago. All right. So it was two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. You had a fascinating dream. Yes. And and you... I just didn't think it was that fascinating because I just told you about it in the car and then that was it. Okay, well, I thought it was fascinating because okay. <laughs> it was during the time that we were watching the Murdoch trial. Right. And, oh my gosh, it's like I really... I didn't know how things were going to go. Yeah. Because you never know how people are going to see how exactly. all the facts and all right. the investigation, all mm-hmm. that stuff. Well, your dream stood out because, do you want to share a little bit about your dream? Sure. I dreamt that I was driving a car and um, Alec was sitting next to me in the passenger seat and his father is in the back seat. And we were driving and he kept saying, let me out. And I kept telling him, no, you have to be held accountable, and you have to face justice. Wow. No, I said, you have to be punished. Wow. I didn't say face justice. You have to be punished. And the whole time, in the back seat, the father just kept mumbling. He had his head down, and he was just mumbling. Yeah, and it was fascinating, too, because you were saying, I can't let you go because you're... A murderer. Yes. You were telling them. Yeah, yeah. So it was just... I forgot that part. Yeah. (laughs) I just thought that was fascinating because you felt like you were driving him to meet his justice. Right. And oh my gosh. So literally, end of the trial happens yesterday and the jury was only deliberating. They literally came to a decision in 45 minutes. But they came out in three hours and one minute. Exactly. That was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And they all found him guilty. Yeah. But when you had that dream, I, it just felt like it was this, um, spiritual justice because sometimes they don't get it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes entities that do people that do things that are bad in life, um, they don't, you know, they don't meet justice. It doesn't happen, but they ultimately do in a, in a, in a a spiritual level. Exactly. So I was like, I was a little concerned because I thought I was having the dream because he was going to be found not guilty. I was concerned. And then I was taking him to meet his in a spirit on a spiritual level. Right. 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 But it didn't turn out that way. Well, I thought, what an amazing example of a precognitive dream. Yeah, exactly. And then, wow, your psychic ability. (laughs) I'm just saying. Seriously, it's like pretty amazing the different things that you shared with us. Well, we all dream psychic dreams. We just sometimes don't realize it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But that's where I love how you interpret our dreams for us with your ability it's so much you know, fun, isn't it? And um, it was just fascinating to see that happen. And now, uh, yeah, <clears throat> spiritual on a spiritual level. See, right. you know, well, actually, we won't see until we get home to the other side. Exactly. But, yeah, it was it was good to have this meet um, justice. Yes. So. Two life sentences. Yeah. So just wanted to share a little bit of that. What was it? Consecutively, right? Exactly. One right after the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not concurrently. Yeah. So just wanted to share Veer's insight that she had. And what took him down? I know. It was literally. A dog. Yes. Bubba. Yes. Exactly. That's what I think. Well, it was the video that his son Son. took in the kennels that he didn't know was taking. And it wasn't until that video came out that he confessed he was there. But why would anybody who's well, at innocent... Well, first he said he was not there. Right. Until they saw her, got so, the phone. Mm-hmm. And had he known that that was on the phone, he wouldn't have put it back in Paul's pocket. Right. Or on top of him. Right. Yeah. He said it, it fell out well, of his pocket. Well, he said he was trying to put it back. And it fell out. Yeah. yeah. But, Wow. But see, that is what is so amazing. You get caught one way or another. I know. It was so amazing because it was like this karmic justice. After all the things, all mm. the crimes. He would have gotten away with it. Yeah. And after everything that he had done to so exactly. many good people and victims of, of accidents and all these things that happened, it was just karmic um, and, and, and 
just you know justice to um, finally catch it. And that's where the karma thing. I yeah. mean, who would have ever thought? I mean, here Paul, his son, was taking that video right for and caught his father's voice on it. So if it wasn't and it for was that, his voice, it was. There's no, there's no way that that it could be mistaken. And at that point, it was like. And who else could have gotten Bubba in that? Yeah, he kennel. was the only one. He that was the only he one that he paid attention to. The dog paid attention to Alec. Right. So it's just wow. Yeah. Things that happen in life, you know, is revealed. Yeah. So that was meant to to and uh, if he catch could, up to him. If he could kill his family it's nothing for him to do what he did with to the other people right right yeah yeah so anyway for for all of you who've been watching the trial i know <laughs> you may or may not have been surprised i didn't know how it was gonna go i, I didn't either i i was kind of thinking that it would be interesting if they came back that day that they did come back i didn't think they'd come back that fast but i thought for sure they'd come back friday Right, and they didn't. But they came back Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it was cool. Wow. Everything is just, I was just amazed by the karma on that one. <laughs> wow. Well, anyway, so we want to um, thank you for sharing. Yes. And blessings to you. Bye. <laughs>